I am Rob from Hopzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time, something a little bit different. I'm going to be making black and tan, so it's a blend of a stout and a hoppy beer. Uh, primarily, uh, I think originally it was using Bass Pale Ale and um, Guinness or something, something like that. Anyway, some big shit. Anyway, um, two inspirations for doing this video. First one, I'm going to be using my beer, Dead Metaphor, that I brewed up at Brewdog, along with Rich from Beercast. Um, because I, the first video I did of that, I mean, I don't think you got much of a video out of me. I was just gushing about how, how excited I was about having the bottles and all this and saying thank you and all that, blah, blah, blah. The other reason why I'm doing this, um, last week at the my local brew dog bar, um, I was hanging around with a couple of lads who worked there. That I think they'd finished shift and they were having a beer. So we hung about, we shared a couple of beers, and towards the end, um, I, I convinced one of them that it was a good idea to uh, make a black and tan out of Coco Psycho or Jackhammer. And it was a beautiful, beautiful mix. <laughs> but I'd say Coco Psycho overpowered it a little bit. So this time, I've got bottles of Punk IPA and Jackhammer and, and, and a bottle of Dead Matter 4. So I'm going to make a blend out of that. So, first up, Punk IPA, 5.6% ABV. A really lovely. Um, floral, loads of kind of late hopping going on in this, loads of kind of like flavoursome hops, um, not too rasping on the bitterness. So, got that much of that in there. Pop the count back on that. I'll do the same. I've got Jackhammer, which is. 7.2% ABV, much, much bigger on the bitterness. Real significant beer is this. Just talk about yourselves whilst I'm doing this. Pause, unbelievably pale actually, there's a jackhammer. We've got a similar amount there. Yeah, pretty much spot on that. Let's take this, we'll pop this one to the side. I'm going to drink the rest of these beers later. I'm not going to go mental and have two bottles of each <laughs> at once. There we go, and then now, Dead Metaphor. So Dead Metaphor, if, for anybody who's not heard about it before, is a, uh, a milk stout uh, with oatmeal, um, well oats, Scottish rolled oats, um, Brazilian um, Satao coffee and 100% Venezuelan cacao. So it's, it's nice and bitter but it's also really nice and sweet. Sell some jackhammer at the back end. I don't want to have too much of the dead metaphor in here because I, I think the, the roast does overpower and take away from this idea of the black and tan, something that's akin to a, uh, a black IPA maybe. So, first up, this is the mix of dead metaphor and punk IPA. So let's give it a swirl and a sniff. Oh yeah, it really smells like um, a black IPA. Lovely, I'm, I'm getting a big, um, it's quite leathery. You're getting a big tropical fruit that's peeking through there. I'm going to say a nice kind of blood orange, grapefruit. Not about the floral character that you get from Punk IPA. Apricot. A slight smokiness, I think that's probably coming from the dead metaphor. But it smells lovely, I mean, yeah, it smells like a lovely black IPA. So let's dive in. Cheers. Punk IPA and Dead Metaphor. That's a really good combination, that. So I think I've got the levels quite nicely there. Still getting lots of the, the fruit from uh, Punk. In some ways it's been lifted. Um, bitterness has probably increased a little bit. It's heightened certain elements of the flavour, especially those fruity flavours, and a lot more of the fl floral notes have dropped back a bit. Bitterness still there, you're getting, a, you're getting a dryness to the bitterness, and then there's a nice amount of kind of milky coffee coming through. Definitely still getting a lot of the kind of like dry and pithy um, grapefruit at the back end. Very nice. So, on to its big brother, the mix with Jackhammer. 
uh, I, so far I'd say the more kind of that was much more hot forward um, the um, the darker beer was kind of like softening out a lot of the kind of more sharper flavors this one musty big sticky resinous thing going on yeah still jackhammer through and through big rasping pine and um, grapefruit I, don't, I can't remember what hops were in this. It used to be just Columbus, but they definitely added more. So it does have a certain kind of ammonia note, it's like cat piss, as the, it's often said about hops like Simcoe. Fuller, bigger, similar to a certain degree. Hmm. Mm. Big grapefruit, big sharp grapefruit. It's taking down the, the harshness of the bitterness and the sweetness of the stout. Yeah, still that kind of like grapefruit bitterness is really shining through on this. Do you know what? I'm going to finish this bottle of Dead Man 4 up the ante with these bad boys. I think they do need a little bit more stout. I mean, it was definitely black IPA through and through that, because you're getting a nice amount of um, malt character, but, but you're still very much an IPA. Maybe unlike um, um, Liberty and Black Ale, which I'm a massive fan of, and uh, by that being, that's, that's got a lot more sweetness. I always think of um, um, blueberries, things like that with that. Yeah, sweetened it up a bit, like softened it out. And that m now tastes a bit more like a like an export stout. That, and that's the pump mix. That's lovely though. Mm. This might not. This might be the um, first of many times this do I do this because I'm a big fan of black IPA. I know some people don't really care for it as a style, but I like I like both combinations. I like the the, the roast of the malt. I like the drinkability and the. And the kind of like sharpness and hoppiness of um, an IPA. Mm, that's gone really nice. That I think I put a bit more of the stout in this one. And that's like a big old hoppy stout now. You could you have found a lot of American I, um, imperial stouts that have a similar character to this. To this, if if I handed some to some of this and went, there you go, hoppy. Imperial Stout at 10.4%. I think people would be like, oh yeah, that's the business. And they'd be like, oh yeah, it hides the alcohol quite well. Obviously this is only about 7.2, even with a mix. That's, yeah, it's taken off the edge of the IPA now. Taken off the bitterness, added, balanced out the the sweetness and still not overpowered. I think the really level pegging now with those two mixes. But I'd say now, very much uh, more more of a export stout, a hoppy stout, opposed to a black IPA as it was originally. Mm. Still got a nice amount of sweetness of the hop in that. This one just seems bigger, beefier, a bit more. Oh, beautiful. Two, all, all, of, all three, obviously, fantastic beers. Mixed together, make a really nice one. I would have bought a Hakkar IPA, but I thought it might be a bit too much. And also, we're a bit skin, so I didn't bother. But, that's a really nice mix. So, I'll just quickly show you the bottles. And the winner, in my opinion, Jack Hammer and Dead Metaphor. Beautiful match. So I'll touch you farewell with my favourite of the two. I'm Rob from Hopzine.com. See you next time. Cheers.